Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called polynomials. The given question is divide px by gx where px is equal to x plus 3x to the power 2 minus 1 and gx is equal to 1 plus x. So guys let us see how we can give, divide px by gx. The question has given us here two polynomials. One is px px is equal to px is equal to x plus 3x to the power 2 minus 1 and the other polynomial is gx gx is equal to 1 plus x question has given us these two polynomials and question is asking us to divide to divide px by gx to divide px by gx by gx so let us see how we can divide this type of given polynomials. Now before doing our division, let us first of all try to re remember or recall the uh, formula for these divisions. Like we know that dividend, we know that dividend is equal to divisor into divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient plus reminder. We very well know this formula. This formula is divisor into quotient plus reminder. Now keeping this formula in mind, let us move ahead and start our workout. But before this, let us re also recall, let me give you one example. If I am going to divide 7 by 2, if I am going to divide 7 by 2, let's see what is happening. 2, 3 is a 2, 3 is a 6 and we are getting a reminder of 1. So here what are the things let us analyze or let us keep Keeping this formula in mind, let us put those things in this formula. Now, here dividend is equal to 7. If I, if I write those things as per the formula, here dividend is equal to 7. Divisor. Divisor is 2. Quotient is 3. And remainder is 1. So, it just you can relate, correlate this thing with the formula. And you can understand this is what happens. So, here dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. Plus 1. That means 2 into 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So this is the formula that we can correlate. So we need to correlate this one with our formula. For that reason just I am showing an example here. Now let us move ahead and do the division that the question has asked us to do. So question has given us Px. Px is equal to question has given us Px is equal to 3 Px is equal to x plus 3x to the power 2 minus 1 and the other one is gx is equal to 1 plus x. The first step that we are going to do is we need to rearrange these, these values or we need to rearrange these given equation in the ascending in the descending order of the degrees in the descending order of the degrees. Now here it is x means x, x to the power 1 here also x means x to the power 1. Now we are going to write these degrees in this equation in the descending order of their uh, descending order of their exponents or that degrees. So I can write here 3x to the power 2 plus x minus 1. Similarly this one I should write x plus 1. Hope guys I am very clear what I am telling here. Hope guys we are very clear. Just we need to rearrange the equation in such a way that the powers or the exponents are in the descending order. So we rearranged the equation x to the x plus 3x to the power 2 minus 1 as 3x to the power 2 plus x minus 1 and 1 plus x is equal to x plus 1. Now let us divide the divide px by gx using the long division method. Let us divide these two using the long division method. So 3x to the power 2 plus x minus 1. This is the dividend that the question has given us and we need to divide that means x plus 1. x plus 1 is the divisor. Now, here you could see that we have 3x to the power 2. Here you could see that we have 3x to the power 2. Our main objective is what we should multiply to this x so that we can get 3x to the power 2. Our main objective is what I should multiply to this x so that I will get 3x to the power 2. Now, if, you, if I multiply 3x, if I multiply 3x to x, then I will get x to the power 3x to the power 2 so let us do that let us do that L let us do that 
So I will write 3x, that means 3x into x, I will get 3x to the power 2, 3x into 1, first 3x into x, then 3x into 1. So 3x into 1 is 3x. So 3x into 1 is plus 3x. Now let us, we need to subtract or let us reverse the signs here. Here it is positive, we are reversing it to negative, here also we are reversing it to negative. That means this one, this one cancels out, 3x square plus 3x square minus 3x square, it cancels out, minus 3x plus x is minus 2x. So guys, now you could see that we got a new dividend. This is our, this is our uh, old dividend or this is our first dividend. This is our first dividend and now we, we got a new dividend which is minus 2x or I can write this one as the second dividend also, uh, second dividend, second dividend. We should keep on multi, we should keep on dividing like this. We should keep on dividing like this till we get the remainder as zero or the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. So we, we need to continue. Either we should get this dividend as zero or the, or the either we should get the remainder as zero or the new dividend is less than the divisor. So we'll see what do, what do I mean by telling that we should get the remainder as zero or we should uh, get the degree uh, of the new dividend less than the degree of the divisor. So let's see. Now here we got minus 2x, minus 2x. Now what should I multiply? Again, what should I multiply to this x so that I will get minus 2x? What should I multiply to this x so that we will get minus 2x? If I multiply minus 2 to this x, I will get minus 2x. So let us do that. Let us do in that way. Now, I am going to multiply minus 2. So minus 2 into x is minus 2x. Minus 2 into this uh, 1 is minus 2. Minus 2. Now, let, we are going to subtract. So let us first reverse the signs. Here it is. Both are negative. We are reversing it to positive signs. So minus 2x plus 2x it cancels out and we are left with plus 2 minus 1 is 1. Now guys as I told you as I told you here this one is the this one is the again the new dividend or the third dividend or this is the reminder I can say now for the time being. Let's see. Uh, here you could see that we got 1. Now the rule says that we should stop our division when we get the reminder as 0 or the reminder is less than the less than the degree of the divisor. So here the here reminder is x uh, 1. That means the divisor the, that means here it is 1. 1 means I can write x, x to the power 0. But here the divisor's uh, degree is 1. So here we can stop because here the uh, I, here the, though the remainder is not 0 but it fulfills the second condition where the degree of the variable is less than the degree of the divisor. So we are stopping our calculation here. Now we can write, we can write our conclusion what we got, our answer using the formula. The formula that we know that is dividend is equal to, the formula that we know that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient, into quotient plus remainder. We should put our answer in this formula and close our answer. So dividend, here dividend is 3x to the power 2 plus x minus 1 is equal to divisor is x plus 1, x plus 1 into quotient, quotient is 3x minus 2 plus remainder is 1. If, if we solve this one, definitely we will get this dividend. If we solve this one, definitely we will get the dividend and this is our answer. Hope guys you understood this. This is very simple and very straightforward. Just we need to follow certain rules and we need to move ahead. But guys, if you still have any questions or doubts, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe and let your friends know. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.